What's going on and welcome back to the channel. In this series on the channel, we talk about new and emerging tech that's been announced. Lately, there's been a lot of interest in AR, augmented reality, VR, not so much. But I think with brands such as Xreal, Vitcher, even the Vision Pro, there's this sort of that's not quite I, what I was imagining feel about AR. I think I have found one of the closest things that I think we've all imagined in sci-fi and in movies of the past of what AR could be. And we're gonna dive right into Even Reality's G1 glasses and check it out together. Links will be in the description down below for you to check out yourself. As well as I need to plug my newsletter where after these videos go out, the following week I dive in with a little more thoughts about the products that I review and things that I find on the internet as well as behind the scenes on where the channel is and where it's going and all sorts of stuff, stuff that I've learned from the week. So feel free, please do subscribe to the newsletter down below. I'd love to have you over there. And subscribe to this channel if you enjoy tech reviews and announcements from an intentional living and minimalist perspective. Like this video for more, let's get into it. Here is the website for Even Realities and this is the product. Very much so more what I think we're all thinking about when we think of AR glasses that you wear around. There's no thing like the Google glasses that came out, which looks kind of weird and nerdy. There's no cord that has to come down the side. The only weird looking thing is the little piece back here that sits behind your ear, which while they're on your head, won't even be that noticeable. So basically, first eyewear designed to seamlessly blend stunning aesthetics with digital functionality. So this has an interesting way of doing things. I don't know if the glass itself Itself is sort of polarized differently in the area where the heads-up display gets shown. As you can see with this deal here, this HOA, HAOS system, right? So they designed all of this themselves. And basically it's just a monochrome green display lettering that flashes before your eyes. This guy right here, I think he's the founder, he's wearing them. I mean, just look, this this is giving me smart ring vibes where like the amount of technology that's put into this tiny device is insane. And I think the same can be said of this. Floating display on your eyes only, translate, navigate, quick note, and more. There's also AI in these things as well. So you can say like, hey, I wanna make a chocolate sundae. How would I do that? And it'll give you instructions, obviously prescription. I mean, these glasses, look like glasses, get your prescription, wear them all the time, whether they're charged up or not. I mean, they look great. They don't weigh a ton. So yeah, lightweight design. Here's what it looks like. So when you unbox it, you do have this charging case here that charges the device for you. It sits in there nice and quick. I mean, just the design and layout of all this stuff. You know me, you know I love this kind of stuff. I mean, look at these, fantastic. Quick note, right? So. It's showing translate right now. So quick note, you click and hold back here on that button and that's how you sort of speak to the AI within the glasses. I think there's a, a gesture of looking up, which if you think naturally, like if someone's thinking, they kind of look up. So that's not super weird looking in public. I think speaking to nothing is kind of weird looking, but also I feel this gesture when talking, it looks like I'm talking into an earbud or something, right? Quick note, you can add them that way, translate. I've heard that this is a little slower than they make it look in this little video here. It takes a second to translate, but if someone's speaking to you in a different language, now it is one way, right? So obviously they're not gonna be able to hear or understand what you're saying to them, but you can flip the script and ask the AI to tell you how to say something in their language and then say it to them as best you can in their language. Say you are visiting a different country, like if you go to Spain and you need to speak Spanish, but you don't speak Spanish, to be able to go up to someone and maybe have certain script, like where's the cafe, and you know how to say that in Spanish, and then they answer you, you can know what they're saying because it's literally being read in front of you. I had someone on the channel ask if this was a feature for Xreal or if there's anything like this out there because they were hard of hearing. So this is literally what you were looking for. I don't remember your name, I'm sorry. I hope you watch this video. This is sick. <laughs> I think you're really gonna love this. So navigation as well, they currently don't have this for driving, which makes a lot of sense, but biking or walking, you literally can have a map. Like it's really cool. This is sick. And I think there's a certain intentionality and limitation, but I think the two mix where like you're only able to do so much with these because of how much technology they can fit in here. Like you don't have a full heads up color display, but like this maybe is kind of all we need in smart glasses. In my opinion, you don't need to be able to be walking around town watching YouTube videos. 
like your smart glasses, navigation, translation, making notes. This one's cool if you're a professional doing uh, like a Zoom meeting or something, you can have literally a teleprompter right in front of your eyes and it uses AI to hear what you're saying and will move the script down as you go, which is super cool. Even AI, this is their own sort of AI they've integrated here, right? So look at this, to make a satisfying and balanced sandwich. So it'll tell you things like that. Super cool. And then notifications, right? So oh, you got a text message, you look up, it seems, and you're able to see what that text says, which again, that gesture is so nice. There's no like, you just kind of like, look up, you can read what whatever someone said to you and decide whether or not you want to answer on your phone or something, which is super cool. Thoughtful design. Yeah, I mean, these look great. And I will say they come with this uh, sunglass piece that you put on top too. So you can wear them out and about. This is cool. The hinges don't have screws. They're designed, uh, I guess, machined in a certain way where it wraps around like that, which I think is super cool. I've reached out to the company. They told me they didn't quite have an affiliate program set up yet, but they would be back in touch with me. So, hey, go tell them you would like me to review this product and let's all knock on their door and, and see if they can't send over a unit to review. I'd love to get my hands on with this thing and tell you how it actually feels to use these. I'm really excited for this personally because I don't feel they're trying to just put a phone or a computer on your face. They're being intentional. And like I said, maybe it's unintentional that they have such limited, I wouldn't even say limited features because of they're trying to keep this form factor like that. The only weird thing about these is that back piece. Like it's wild. Anyway, here's some more specs about the devices. Two microphones, auto brightness control, Bluetooth. Let's see the battery, 160 milliamp hour, but then 2000 milliamp hour. So it says charging once can last one and a half days, which is wild again for how big they are. And like, if you're any, I guess, sort of normal person, you take your glasses off when you sleep. Unlike something like a smart ring where you would like to wear it while you're sleeping, I'm assuming you just take them off, set them in the case, they charge overnight, you're good to go. Field of view isn't as insane as something like the X-Reel, which I still think is a little small, but again, you're not trying to watch like a YouTube video or be in an immersive environment. You just have to, you just have to, you're just getting light information throughout your day or directions or translations. So you don't need it to take up the entire lens. Thousand nits brightness, that's pretty wild. And even things like the refresh rate, 20 Hertz, right? But again, you're not, you're not watching a YouTube video with this thing. It doesn't have to be crazy. Even the resolution being a little bit lower. This is the frame. So you can choose from different colors for the sunglasses that come with it. Okay, so these are the language it can currently do, I guess. I don't know some of these, but you know, France, French, sorry, Italian, English, Spanish. So look, even AI is coming soon. So it's not currently implemented, but it's still in pre-order. And you can see the price, $5.99, which it is what it is, you know? Um, I think for some that's a little too expensive, but if you're replacing your glasses, I don't need glasses, but for someone who wears glasses, this can replace your glasses. So like you're not just buying a new smart device for $600, you're buying a smart device and new glasses, which look really nice. I think that's a worthy price. Again, I think we need to kind of get hands on to really know how we feel about that. But here are the different colors. So, oh, you can actually get different colored. I didn't know you could get different colored frames. I thought they were all black. So you have, it's kind of hard to tell. They're very light differences, but green, green's cool. I would probably go with the gray just because I'm a boring individual. Okay, so the sunglasses change with the, the color of glasses too. So anyway, that's it. You know, on this series, we just kind of talk about new tech. I'm not really reviewing these. I'm just kind of giving my impressions. So I want to hear what you all think of these. If you're excited about them, if you have any other questions, I'm sure that brands are watching videos like these before real reviews are going out to see if there's any questions they can answer. So if you have any questions for the brand themselves. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Again, if you enjoyed, please consider liking so we can share with the algorithm that this video is worth watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested in tech reviews and tech discussions from an intentional living and minimalist perspective. Sign up for the newsletter down below. Thank you so much for watching. Watch this video next. I think you're going to love it and I'll see you all in the next one.